In this video, I will talk about how to adjust long-acting insulin dose. What are the long-acting insulin? Some examples are Basaglar, Lantus, Levamir, Tugel, and Traceba. After the injection, they don't get into the circulation right away. Instead, they stay under the skin and slowly trickle into the circulation over a long time, sometimes over 24 hours. If your blood sugar is very high, do not try to use long-acting insulin to correct it, as it does not work immediately. You will need something faster like a short-acting insulin. There are situations when you need to adjust long-acting insulin dose. For example, the doctor may ask you to take 20 units of Lantus every day. However, your blood sugar continues to run very high, and you may wonder if insulin dose should be increased and by how much. Or you might be taking 30 units of Levamir every day, but blood sugar keeps on going too low. You may want to take less to prevent low blood sugar. The strategy I will talk about also applies to insulin pump. The difference is, instead of adjusting long-acting insulin dose, you will adjust basal rate. If you suspect that the long-acting insulin dose is not correct for you, the first step is to check blood sugar before going to sleep and then check again the next morning before breakfast. Compare those two numbers for a few nights if on most occasions, blood sugar in the mornings are higher than before sleep, then increase the dose of insulin by about 15%. If blood sugar in the mornings are mostly lower than the night before, then decrease the insulin dose by about 15%. Let's look at example. These are the blood sugar recorded for four days, before breakfast and before going to sleep. You can see that blood sugar went up from 110 to 235 over the first night. It went up again from 130 to 221 over the second night. It went up again from 145 to 249 over the third night. So the pattern here is blood sugar goes up overnight. In this type of situation, you should increase the insulin dose. Now let's look at a second example. Blood sugar went down from 330 to 235 over the first night. It went down from 237 to 211 over the second night and went down again over the third night. In this type of situation, you need to reduce the insulin dose. So you might ask me, what if the blood sugar becomes even higher in the morning after I reduce the dose of insulin? To solve this problem, you will need to find out why blood sugar was always high the night before. Was that because you ate a big meal for dinner? Or did you skip some diabetes medication? Or were you in a lot of pain or stress during the daytime? Once that specific reason is found out and taken care of, the blood sugar will not be high to begin with, and it will stay low till the next morning. However, if you do not reduce insulin dose in this example, what will be the consequence? Let's say if the blood sugar on one day is 100 at bedtime, it will go even lower the next morning and you will wake up with hypoglycemia. This is a summary. If your blood sugar went up overnight, that means you're getting too little insulin. If your blood sugar went down overnight, you're getting too much insulin. The right dose for low-acting insulin is a dose that keeps blood sugar flat overnight. In this example, blood sugar went down over the first night. It went down over the second night as well, but it went up over the third night. In this situation, you don't want to change the insulin dose because there is no consistent pattern here. You will need to monitor blood sugar for a few more days and then decide on what to do. Some important points for your safety. First, make sure you check blood sugar for a few days before making a change in insulin dose. You don't want to make a change based on just one number. The second point is, if you took short-acting insulin at night to treat high blood sugar, then this, this whole approach is invalid. 
because you don't know whether the change in blood sugar overnight is because of the short-acting insulin or because of the long-acting insulin. What do I mean here? Let's look at this example. Let's say this is a guy who takes both Lantus every day and Novolog as needed for high blood sugar. You can see the blood sugar went down from 295 to 220 over the first night. However, he took 6 units Novolog before sleep. So you do not know whether this drop in blood sugar is because of the 6 units of Novolog or because of too much Lantus. Again, blood sugar went down over the second night, but he took 8 units of Novolog before sleep. So you still don't know the reason why blood sugar went down. On the third night, however, he did not take any Novolog, and you can see blood sugar actually went up. In this type of situation, I would suggest him not to take Novolog at night for a few nights, and then see how blood sugar changed overnight, and then make a decision on the Lantus dose.